Hey guys, Ralph Ralph's Automotive. Ha! Got a little bit something here. We're gonna do us a review. And we are gonna say farewell. I've had this old compressor for a long, long time. Uh, and it's finally getting to where it just doesn't doesn't keep up with me anymore, so I mean, we've done body work with this thing and all that. It's been a great compressor. I mean, it really has. I can't say nothing, absolutely nothing bad about it. And, uh, yeah, it is kind of time to say goodbye. So, farewell, old Coleman. So, guys, this is what's going to replace it. I just picked that up. Just a few minutes ago, got us one of the old Quincy Q45 or Q54s. Almost said that wrong. Make sure that is correct. That I'm, yeah, a Q54. I didn't want anything with a big tank. I didn't want nothing with a big tank before. I still haven't changed my mind with, on that. I still don't want anything with a big tank. But this one here is just a, a whole lot more CFM than what that one ever thought about being. Uh, you know, tired of waiting for air to kick in because I don't, you know, I don't kick the air compressor on all the time and hopefully being able to take this one here, leave it on automatic, turn the valve off on it uh, and it, it'll recover in a snap. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So anyway, I'm going to get the other one unhooked, get it out of the corner get this one here hooked up and get this thing fired up and see what kind of air is hissing out of the fitting. Well, I hope you can hear me over the air compressor. It's not really that loud. I've not got it bolted down. It has no vibration at all. I mean, virtually none. Of course, that being said, it will pick up vibration once it starts building pressure, but it's going to have to run like that for a while without building pressure. To, I want to make sure that everything is broken in just right, so uh, I'll be back in a minute. All right, we've had it running for some time. It just kicked, uh, kicked back on. Recovery seems to be okay. Certainly is faster than the other one. Going by the gauges, it looks like it's doing uh, a 125 on and a uh, about a 170 off. It is rather hot right now from all the from all the running. I've been running the heck out of it and uh, I'll keep you posted on it. Just figured I'd throw that in there and make a little video about this thing and. See what she's going to do in the next couple of months, weeks, whatever. It's time for me to turn in. It's already 9 o'clock, so... Until next time, like, subscribe, whatever you do. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thanks for watching. So, guys, it's been a little while. I finally had time to get the uh, fittings on the air compressor. these uh, half-inch compression fittings, half-inch hose. This will uh, feed our regulator. Goes into two dryers. I don't use an oiler in my lines. Uh, there is an oiler. The only oiler in my lines is on the uh, tire equipment back there. But 
to give you all a quick uh, shot on the, uh, or not shot, but uh, give you all a quick update on the speed in which this thing recovers. Uh, as I mentioned before, it kicks on at 125 and it kicks off at 175. So I'm going to drain a little bit of the air out of the line. Sorry about that. There you have it, so that's how fast that will recover. I'm skeptical on the CFMs that it claims. I don't know that the air compressor is actually able to produce 15.2 CFM at 175 PSI. Um, personally, I don't believe it. It hasn't been running all that much, so it may not be seated real, the, the rings in, in, in the cylinder may not be seated all that great yet. But uh, like I said, it is what it is. I think it's plenty fast for me. So there you have it guys.